Today we'll be taking a look at Enable MSP Manager. Enable MSP Manager is a ticketing, knowledge, and asset management software. It can also be used to calculate bills that you had sent to your customers. When you first sign in, you'll be dropped onto this dashboard where you can see how many hours you've worked this week or this month or this year. And we have a couple of different buckets where we can see aging tickets, ticket requests, tickets due this week, etc. We also have a company dashboard where you can track your technician's time and what they've been working on, what services are being utilized, as well as any user activity. In the help desk, we can see the tickets that we're working. If I click on this ticket for helping Tony, we can see that Tony needs some help getting his laptop set up. We've put in a hardware support ticket for laptop. Now you do have other options here and these are customizable. And we can see that it's in the Andrews Garage customer under that service plan, and I'm assigned to it. We can also go and select Tony as the contact, and it'll select his location for us. If Tony has any assets assigned to him, they'll show up here. We also have custom fields that we can add, asking if the user is an extraterrestrial or if this is approved or not, and we can save that. Then we have a bunch of things that we can add to the ticket itself editing the ticket information again, adding a time entry so we can see or say what we did for the last hour, or we can use the timer that's attached to the ticket to do so. We can add expenses if we use some cables during the job or a new router. We can add appointments. If one of, a, one of our technicians needs to go on site, we can say that they're going on site between 8 and 8.30 uh, tomorrow morning, and they're going to do this work. Then we have responses and notes, which are going to be actual responses to the ticket. You can upload attachments to that. And this is rich text, so we can add images or hyperlinks or anything like that. Notes are generally internal, but they can be made to be visible to the customer if necessary. And then we can see all of our attachments here or add a new one if we don't want to add a note itself. Over on the right side, we have all of the assets that are associated with this ticket, any passwords that are in the knowledge base for this ticket. Any contacts on this ticket, we'll see Tony there. Associated service items, where we can see our monthly contract, if there are any tasks that need to be done, any knowledge base articles, or if there are any related tickets or SLAs. If we have a ticket that's associated with a device that's in Insight or in Central, you'll see a take control and chat icon at the top right of the screen, where we can take control of the, the PC or chat with the user directly from an uh, MSP manager without having to go find that device in your RMM tool. We'll also see that take control icon in the assets tab if we view the asset. There'll be a take control and start chat icon there, as well as in the assets tab itself, where you'll see a take control or start chat icon for any device that is in Insight or in Central. Speaking of assets, we can have multiple different asset classes where we have here workstation, server, and robot. These asset classes are customizable and they can have certain fields assigned to them as well. By default, there will be plenty of fields for you to edit, but if you want to add other ones, you can add them into the miscellaneous info section. We also have customizable asset statuses, which I like to use for decommissioned, deployed on the shelf, and we have asset tags that you can add to assets to let you know if that's an M2 or an M1 Mac. Next up, we have the knowledge base. These knowledge types can be modified and customized to your liking, and then your knowledge will show up in the list here. We can see I have a file server here with that serial number, and it is a Dell R510. And I also have the Wi-Fi password for my customer. You can have a master password to hide this Wi-Fi password in case anyone sits down at your computer. You'll have to put in another password to be able to view this password, as well as all of its notes. Next up, we have the Billing tab. The Billing tab will allow you to bill your customers directly from uh, MSP Manager through QuickBooks or Xero. If we add a billing batch, we can let it calculate our balances and then select what we'd like to bill. I think I'll bill this one for right now, just these two right here. And this is going to be called Andrew's Garage. We'll run that billing batch and we can then select what goes into our invoices and then choose to export our invoices as QuickBooks Online, Desktop, 
zero, or a CSV file. You can then use those files to bill your customers through whatever tool you'd like. Thank you for taking a look at Enabling MSP Manager with me today. Have a good one.